I need you to forget everything you think you know. The reason Celestia has lived for so long may be far more sinister than you think. onto something, something big. They don't want you to find out. If this is the last thing I ever post, you'll know what happened. They found me. If you're watching this, I need you to buy my t-shirts. These one-of-a-kind hoof-made bleach pattern t-shirts can be yours to own, but only if you order before April 22nd. That's right, these are limited edition, so get yours while you still can. We've all just assumed that being an alicorn is what extends your lifespan. Something about having magic from all three tribes keeps you from aging like the others. This isn't a terrible assumption to make, since there does seem to be a correlation between alicornhood and immortality. But that doesn't mean causation. It's still an assumption. What if I told you something else is at play here? A fruit forbidden to all but those in power. Well, you'd think I'm crazy, and maybe I am, but hear me out, there's something to this. First, a little background to mythology. Myths the world over are full of immortal characters, but not all of them are eternally youthful just by nature. Some depend on an external source for their youth. Look at Norse mythology. Ithun is the goddess of youth. Her name literally translates to the rejuvenating one. It's because of her golden apples that the other gods stay forever young. When Loki kidnapped Idun, preventing her from providing the apples, the gods began to gray and age. Golden apples actually appear throughout multiple mythologies. In the Greek mythos, they're never explicitly stated to be the source of immortality, but they're always adjacent to immortality, only to be possessed by the gods. The goddess Hera and her Garden of the Hesperides is where the golden apple of discord came from, the argument over which led to the Trojan War. Yeah, golden apples are highly coveted and in some cases grant eternal youth. So my question is, what if the same is true in our world too? Equestria does have a lot in common with mythologies, mostly Greek, but not exclusively. There's also references to Aztec, Algonquin, French, German, Chinese, Aboriginal, Australian, and more. With this in mind, what if Celestia's garden, just like Hera's, has a golden apple tree? And what if, just like Idun, her apples provide eternal youth? And I'm not talking about golden delicious apples. Those are just called golden. They're just yellow and clearly don't grant eternal youth. No, I'm talking about golden apples. Could those exist in Equestria and could Celestia be in possession of them? The answer to that is an emphatic yes. Let me take you way back to the Grand Galloping Gala, the first one that Twilight and her friends attended. On the way there, Spike was going over his list of things to do with the others, like showing Pinky his favorite donut place. Here's what else he says. I gotta show Rarity the crown jewels and Applejack the princess's golden apple tree. The princess's golden apple tree. In this one obscure, easily missable line, Celestia is confirmed to have a golden apple tree. This may be the only time we ever hear about it, but that's enough to tell us it exists. And the public seems to know, perhaps even inspiring the Cutie Mark Crusaders to make that golden apple parade float. But what they may not know is that Celestia's golden apples are the very reason she's been alive for so long. Or are they? Celestia may have golden apples, but that doesn't mean they do anything. Just because it's true in some myths doesn't mean it's true here. But you have to admit, it is suspicious that the item in mythology known to grant eternal youth happens to be in the possession of the pony who's been alive for over a thousand years. In a world that has so much in common with mythology, it's more than enough to raise an eyebrow. Let's explore the implications. If the golden apples were the secret to Celestia's long life, it would paint quite the dark image of her. I mean, how cruel would it be to have the cure to death but keep it all to yourself, only sharing with Luna and other royalty? Fortunately, I don't think this is the case, not even necessarily because of Celestia, but because this would also implicate Twilight. 
As we can see, the rest of the main six aged without her. And if this was something Twilight could help simply by sharing her diet of golden apples, you know she would have. This tells us immortality isn't something that can be shared like an apple. Otherwise, Twilight wouldn't be the odd one out. The alicorn's immortality must come from somewhere else. Probably just part of being an alicorn after all. But don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean Celestia's golden apples are just fruits either. In the comics, golden apples grant the wishes of whoever eats them. So is that what Celestia's golden apples do? A wish-granting tree would be a good thing for the ruler of Equestria to have, but if she did have it, surely we would have seen them in use by now, or at least heard about them being used. Equestria has been through too many dire situations to not use the wish-granting fruit at your disposal. I mean, these things are shown to be pretty OP. Besides, we already have a wish-granting plant, so if Celestia's golden apples have a magical power, I don't think it's that either. But what else could it be? Well, maybe eternal youth. I know what I said, but eternal youth is different from immortality. It's possible to be eternally old. For all we know, that might be the natural course of alicornhood. You live for centuries, but all wrinkly and stuff. Perhaps golden apples are how Celestia and the alicorns maintain their youth despite their extra lifespans. This way, the apples might only be useful to those who are already immortal. They'd be no good for the granny smiths of the world, so the alicorns wouldn't be evil for keeping them, and Twilight couldn't have shared with her friends anyway. This is the only way I can reasonably reconcile the golden apples of mythology with the golden apples of Equestria. And things do tend to trend towards the mythological, so there's a chance I'm onto something. But of course, there's countless other possibilities as well. In a world full of enchantment, who knows what these golden apples could do? Or not do. Maybe they are just fruits. At the end of the day, all we know for sure is that they exist. But what do you think? What do Celestia's golden apples do, if anything? Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you liked the video, like the video. And if you want to see more, subscribe and ring the bell. If you want to support this channel financially, check out me and my sister's t-shirts on Etsy before the shop closes on the 22nd. Or you could check out my perks at patreon.com slash sawtoothwaves. And thank you so much to everyone who already has, especially my alicorn tier patrons. The Nameless One, Equinox 3141, Darth Silar 12, Maximilian HG, Cyanax, Solar Scripture, Princess Starglow, Colorshine, Jane Shadow, Gunnar Clovis, Captain Good, Angel of Speed, Skarmax, Pika Girl, and this video's Alicorn of the Week, Musin. Congrats, and thanks again for everyone's support. Y'all help make this channel possible. I'm Sawtooth Wave, signing out until next time. Bro, who the f